Welcome back. This is S.J. Pedersen with part two of my uh, Afrobeat Falakuti tutorial uh, using the song Equalization of Trouser and Pant as my example. Uh, I transcribe all these because I love his music. I love music. I'm a composer and I figured I can learn tons from any music that is as great as this. So these are hours and hours of work. Uh, sometimes I get a little sloppy, so I might have some harmonies not quite right, but uh, I learn a lot from it, and I encourage you to learn a lot from these charts as well. Leave me a message if you are uh, uh, have some questions. I'm going to play, uh, since I covered the rhythm section in the first section, I'm going to cover the horn parts. So I'm going to start playback in panorama mode uh, a little bit before the first horn entrance. Here we go. That is the head and the first little repetitive group section that I've named C, rehearsal letter. Uh, I call the introduction section B, A, and B is when the horns come in. Uh, I will let you listen to these horns by themselves because uh, this is a really cool harmony. That is some really serious stuff. Uh, like I said, it has absolutely nothing to do with the rhythm section, but on top of each other, they sound amazing. I'm going to do a little quick uh, run through of the parts. Uh, this is the tenor part. You can fit it on the page. If you are interested, you are probably able to freeze the computer and have a look at it. If you find any issues, you can leave me a message. This is the baritone. Uh, as you know, as horn players know, tenor sax, baritone, tenor sax is a B flat, e, uh, baritone E flat, uh, trumpet B flat, the transposition instrument. When I play the full score, those are not. Uh, those are the pitches in a C score. So what you see here, you will see different notes. These are the notes that you would read if you were a horn player. Uh, here's the trumpet part. Uh, fit it in, pretty much like this. So this would be written a whole step off from the C score. So uh, uh, if you look at the full score and you uh, try to play these parts on guitar or on some other instruments, uh, they will work, but if you try to play them and read them on a saxophone or trumpet, they will not work unless you look at the transposed scores. 
we have one more little thing to go, which is uh, this little uh, line that comes in uh, uh, during the solos. Usually there's solos and then halfway through the solos there's a cool line happening and this is the one, often just rhythmically amazing. Yeah, uh, the original version, obviously the recorded stuff is uh, preferable, but I think if you listen to it and you just like it, if you study the details, and especially if you are a musician that uh, uh, who is looking to expand his vocabulary and knowledge about music, this stuff is priceless. So I really recommend listening to Fella learning to play several of the parts i usually i play the this on uh, either tenor sax or bass or guitar either of the part and uh, on the sax i usually improvise but one of my favorite things to do is just to put on his music and play along with the bass it teaches you how to keep a feel better than anything else so that's it for now. I'm S.J. Pedersen. This is the second part of my Fella tutorial of the equalization of trouser and pant. And don't forget to check out that lyric. Very cool. See you next time. Now trouser be this. Now pant be that. No party be that, no trouser be this. Trouser be keep us a pant at any time. Trouser get long like keep us pant any time. Trouser get the decoration any time. Like a button. Like a button. Like a zig. Like a zig. Like a buckle. Like a buckle. Like a button. Like a button. Like a zig. Like a zig. Like a buckle. Like a buckle. Like some yeah yeah important trouser, him go get it better for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 him go get it better.